everyone, welcome to today's Inside Track. I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, up on the rooftop here in Brisbane, enjoying some beautiful late winter days. Uh, 25 degrees plus here in Brisbane over the last two weeks. Uh, I hope the weather in your part of the world is as is, uh, is good as this. Let's have a look at the dairy industry. Having a look across the commodities, uh, starting with whole milk powder, saw a 7.2% uh, jump last night uh, on whole milk powder, and the biggest jump we've seen since March of 21 on a single auction. Uh, some real hot short-term demand. Uh, North Asia were present last auction, and again, uh, this auction. So we're seeing a lot of short-term buying, uh, theory being that a lot of uh, corporates and bigger customers globally have uh, left themselves a bit short uh, and buying um, covering positions etc short term so that's really driving uh, that market up but even further out we're seeing uh, good demand into December January so things look looking a lot more firm uh, for whole milk than what had previously been predicted. NZ milk production was up uh, in July, so not uh, not the well the second smallest milk production month of the year for New Zealand. However, it is leading into uh, the new season, so it is an indicator that conditions are good uh, for milk in New Zealand. So we do see uh, supply coming on board, but demand is holding up globally as well. So what has previously been quite a bearish outlook for new season on whole milk. Uh, uh, has turned a corner and, and demand is looking firm in the short term. Having a look at skim milk powder across the globe, uh, things reasonably stable there in the US. Uh, EU, things have been quite flat on skim over the last two to three months. Uh, in New Zealand, Australia, we saw that increase in the GDT last night of 4% uh, in line with, with the rest of the uh, dairy commodities. So this may breathe a bit more life into the um, skim market. Uh, it may increase activity on the um, European side of things as well. Uh, the big Algerian tender um, up at the moment, so that will uh, soak up some global supply as well. So yeah, things are looking a, a little bit more firm on skim uh, in the short term. Let's have a look at butterfat on a global scale in the US. Domestic demand still strong, uh, pricing high. Not a lot on the export market of US product. In the EU, uh, we're seeing uh, some strong conditions as well. So firm demand, uh, a lot of people going hand to mouth, just keeping that short term pricing uh, quite high. Uh, this doesn't look to change as um, some hot conditions in Europe uh, as, as keeping milk supply uh, um, less abundant and demand high. So we're seeing uh, a reasonably firm outlook on butterfat in Europe. In New Zealand uh, and Australia, yeah, some good uh, supply conditions coming into the um, new season. However, demand has held up and North Asia continue to buy on the fat side of things and, and uh, that uh, global price or that New Zealand price continues to, uh, to charge on. Two positive um, uh, results on the GDT last night. So looking to be a, a, a firm outlook um, for butterfat in the next three to six months. Moving across to cheese, uh, in the US cheese remains firm, uh, limited milk and, and some hot conditions in the US uh, attributing to higher pricing in uh, cheese on a global scale. Uh, in the EU, similar conditions, not as firm as the US but um, demand uh, is still quite strong and pricing remains stable. Uh, in the New Zealand Australian markets, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, I have uh, recently uh, spoken of Australian cheddar and uh, mozzarella demand being quite uh, quite low, um, especially leading into the um, spring summer months where historically it is high. Um, consumer sentiment has picked up a little bit, so um, demand has increased on the retail side of things, but uh, it's still a, a reasonably flat outlook on Australian cheese. On the on the New Zealand side of things, there's been some really strong demand. Um, 
from North Asia, Southeast Asia. So we're seeing a, a, a good start um, to the season for New Zealand cheese. That uh, obviously supply coming online, but demand really picking up uh, and keeping pricing firm. Similar story on, on whey powder at the moment. Sweet whey uh, still reasonably flat in pricing and, and demand. Uh, and then if we look at the protein side of things, yeah, from our last uh, discussion, there has been um, some more demand on WPC and WPI. So that uh, market continues to rally. Um, yeah, short on supply in the EU um, has, and you know, some good demand out of uh, uh, the developing markets like India has really uh, put some heat into that WPC market uh, and then consequently the WPI side of things as well. So we, yeah, it's, it's quite a volatile market, the protein side of things, but we do see short to uh, medium term firming uh, on proteins. Thanks very much for listening to today's Inside Track. Uh, look after yourselves and one another and we'll see you again in a fortnight.